ओनली This is the first thing that you are going to study here. Then you will learn about this article, or then you will learn about this tanwin. Sorry, then you will learn about this tanwin. Mm -hmm. So tanwin basically is used in the sense of a or an. Okay, tanwin is used. Yeah. To give the meaning of. A, a or n, okay. Okay. Then you will learn about this particle Hamza, which is known as Hamza to Istifamia. So whenever you have simple sentence like Haza Kitabun, this is a book. We can easily make it a uh, interrog interrogative sentence by adding. A particle Hamza by adding interrogative Hamza. We will mm -hmm. also study this one here, and then you will also learn that whenever we have the particle Hamza in the question, we need to answer it using naam or la. We need to use one of these two particles to answer a question starting with particle Hamza. Okay. Okay. Next, we have this man. Okay, we'll study man later also, inshallah. These are the things here, <clears throat> and one thing is about the pronunciation. That in haza, there is an extra alif between ha and zal, which is pronounced but not written. <clears throat> so this is a basic introduction of this chapter. So start reading these sentences. Oh, start reading. Okay. So, ma haba. So what is this? Have a kitabun. A half a baitun. Now have a baitun. La have a masjidun. Men have a. Or men have a. Right. Yes. Because there's a difference between men and men. Yes, men mean who, and who men and mean who? from. Huh? Okay. No, read this note as well. I uh, read uh, the note. Oh, so hava is pronounced uh, hava, but is written within the without the first alif, or because no word corresponding in English is or because uh, no copula. Yes. Copula, there is no word in Arabic corresponding to a or a in the English, as in this is a book. The end sound at the end of Arabic noun, kitabun, in masjidun, is Arabic an infinite article corresponding to English, and, and this end sound is called tanween. Okay. And then the particle at the beginning of the statement turns it into a question. So uh, this is a house, is hadha baytun, ahadha baytun. Yeah. Next, we have some vocabulary. Read this vocabulary also. Okay, so Baytun, Masjidun, Babun, Kitabun, Qalamun, Miftahun, Maktabun, Tharirun, Kursiyun, Najmun, Qamisun, Tabibun, Waladun, Talibun, Rajulun, Tajirun, Kalbun, Kitun, Himarun, Hisanun, Jamalun, Dikun, Mudras, Mudarasun, Mindilun. And this and word Mud, mud uh, Mudarasun. Now, this word you see the vowel is under the Shadda. This means it is Kasra, Mudarisun. Mm -hmm. Mudarrisan. Good. Yeah. Mudarrisan. 
Now basically we have sentences for practice like Haza Baytun. This is a house. Normally, you know, as you know in the Quran, that we don't read the last vowel of the sentence. But at the moment, we are learning the grammar also. So we will it is it will be better if you read the last vowel also. Okay. Mm. So start reading these sentences. So have a baton, have a masjidun, have a babun, have a kitabun, have a kalam kalamun, have a miftahun, have a makya maktabun, have a thirirun, have a kursiun. Next we have Mahaza. What is this? Mahaza. A Hadha Baitun. After Mahaza, it is now you need to read this after oh. Haza Baitun. Oh, because okay, that's the uh, correspond. Okay. Uh Hadha Baitun. A Hadha Baitun. Naam Hadha Baitun. Mahaza. Have a Kamison. I have a Sarirun. La have a Kursiun. I have a Mik Miktahun. La have a. This is far. Oh, Miff, Miff. Sorry, I couldn't read it right. Miftahun. La have a Kalamun. Ma have a Najmun. Tamreen al awwal first exercise. Okay, so here um, you will answer these questions. Okay. So, ma hadha, so then I would answer it myself, me? Yes. Um, ma hadha. Uh, a hadha, let's see, how do you say mm, key again? So here the word key in Arabic is called mifta. So you will say... Yeah. Haza Mifta. Hava Mifta. Good. Next. Ma Hava. Hava Kitabun. Correct. Ma Hava. Hava Kalamun. Good. Ma Hava. Hava Babun. Good. Ma Hava. Hava Baton. Good. Ma Hava. Hava. Uh, Kursiyan? Correct. Tamreen Usani, second exercise. Here we have questions with the interrogative yeah. particle on the istifamiya. Mm -hmm. So, I have a, uh, okay, I have a baytun. Uh, I have a masjidun. Correct. Um, I have a miftahun. Miftahun is key, mm -hmm. uh, right? Yes. Okay, so, uh, la, uh, have a kalamun. Uh, Correct. And I have a kamison. Naam, have a kamison. And I have a najman. Naam, have a najman. Correct. Tamrino Salis, an exercise. Ikra waktub, read and write. He's asking you to read these sentences and I recommend you to translate them as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, ma hava, hava kursiyun. And then, a hava baytun, a hava baytun, la hava masjidun. No need to make any changes, any question. Just read them directly, okay? Read them directly. It is like Haza Maktabun. This is a uh, table like this. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay. Uh, Haza Maktabun. Yeah. This is a table. Haza Masjidun. Uh, this is a masjid. Yes. Haza Kalamun. This is a pen. Haza Sarirun. This is a bed. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And Next. then, ma hadha the this one ma hadha yes ma hadha hadha kursiyan a hadha baytun 
لا هذا مسجد ما ما هذا ما هذا هذا ما في ما في مفتهن yes key next we have man haza who is this okay who is this من هذا هذا طبيب من هذا هذا والد من هذا هذا طالب هذا ولد لا هذا رجل رجل ما هذا هذا مسجد من هذا أو من هذا هذا تاجر 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 اوكي تاجر هذا كلب لا هذا قيط هذا كلب هذا نو نو او هذا كلب لا هذا قيط ما هذا حمار ا هذا حمار لا هذا حصان وما هذا هذا جمال كوركت ما هذا هذا ديك كوركت من هذا من هذا هذا مدرس Mudarrisun. Mudarrisun. Hmm. Okay. Try to remember this thing that whenever we have the vowel under the shadda, it is kasra. Okay. So have a mudarrisun. Rison. Ri. Mudarrisun. Mudarrisun. Rison. Mudarrisun. I have a call. 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 Then we have Ikra Waktub, read and write. So also, you better translate them. Okay. Uh, so, ma hadha, so, hadha qalamu. So what is this? This is a pen. Hadha kalbun. Correct. So this is a kalbun, a dog. Huh? Yes, this is a dog. And, yeah. Man had a so what is this? Had a this man who oh man, man is who man is who, yeah. Who is this? Uh, had a Bobby one, Bobby one is um, is man. This is a doctor, doctor, okay, doctor, okay. Had a Jamie Jamilun, is that has a Jamalun, yeah. Jamalun, oh yeah, because Jamilun is beautiful, right? Yes. So Jamalun is camel, huh? Eh? Correct. Camel. Okay. I have a kelbun. So uh, is this a dog? Is La this has a dog? A has a kelbun. Is this a dog? And then La have a kitten. No, this is a kit, a cat, a kitten. I have a deacon. Uh, is it say was it a rooster? Rooster, good. Yeah, and this is naam. So yes, okay. A a the hafana hafanun. So is it say good? He's hafanun. Yeah, is it say um horse? Yes, yes, horse. Correct. Horse? Okay. A la ha the hamarun. A hamarun is donkey. Yes. Is a hammer or himarun? Himarun, ha, as kasra with it. Okay, got it. And had a mandilun. Again, mim has kasra. Min? Yes, mindilun. Mindilun. Mindilun is. Handkerchief. Handkerchief, yeah. I had a waladun. So, I had a is. Uh, this is, this is a boy. Ah, is this person? Yes. Is this a boy? Yeah. Hey, so yes. 
Men have a, so who is who is this, right? Yes. And then has a Rajilun. 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 Rajilun is. This Rajalun is a man. Man. This is man. Okay. Rajilun is man. Next, we have lesson two. But we also. So, next, Holy Quran. So, as mm -hmm. we told you, we study three things from Holy Quran. First thing is word by word meaning. Second is little bit interpretation. Mm -hmm. And the third one is, of course, the ifs. Okay. So, this is Surah Fatiha that Alhamdulillah, all Muslims know it by heart. Yes. So, I hope. Uh, do you know the uh, meanings of this Surah Fatiha? Uh, the meaning, um, I know like the gist of it. I don't know every single word, like the meaning of it. Okay, got it. No problem. So, we kind of study that. Do you know what do we learn from this Surah? What do we learn from this Surah? Yes. Um, I know it's just like... A, Obviously, like praising Allah and thanking Him. Um, like, isn't it like kind of a, like a, isn't, I don't want to mistake it. Okay, no isn't problem. Isn't that kind of dua or something like that? Okay, no problem. And, okay. So, inshallah, we will continue next time. But before we start that, I will also send you a short lecture about this Surah Fatiha that I have made okay. for my other students as well. So, okay. whenever you want to take class with us, you will make the booking with uh, booking at that link. Today, I am keeping the class very short. This is the first class, so I am just keeping it very short and simple. Yeah. So, whenever you want to take the class, you will make your appointment at that booking link, okay? Got it. If you, okay. And if you have any question, you can ask me now. Uh, let's see. For now, alhamdulillah, I don't have any. But if I do, then I'll let you know, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. So, ma salama. Yeah, salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.